Hello fellow gamers, I'm playing Fortnite Save the World and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do Stormwood Endurance AFK. Now you need to be standing in the southwest of the map on the highest platform that there is. Uh, this will become apparent in this wave because it is wave 30 and it is Miss Pods. So we're going to have three Miss Pods up here and three mini bosses will spawn from those mist pods. So I've just moved to where I am now and I haven't moved for two and a half hours. None of the enemies can get you. Mist monsters uh, do not come as far as this. So you're, you're, you're quite safe from them. And I'll show you what traps you're going to need. Uh, there are six traps in total, six different traps. Although you could get away with just using three or four of those traps. And I'll show you which traps and the perks that you will need for those traps in order to do this 100% AFK Stonewood Endurance. Now I use a combination of uh, power level 130 traps and power level 144 traps, but uh, oh, here we go, here comes the mist pod. I'm not sure what a mist pod is, but we're about to find out together. Attention soldier, those mist pods could hatch at any minute, smash them! But you don't have to use high power level traps, you could get away with, you know, lower than that power level 77 traps would do the job as long as they have the same perks as my traps and then you still be able to do this afk so we now have a mini boss spawn as you can see there on the map and he's heading towards us but don't panic because if you're standing exactly where i am you don't have to worry. I discovered this spot purely by accident. You know, I was just um, looking around the map for a suitable place to actually do AFK Stone with Endurance. And uh, I found this spot and I've stuck with it ever since. Here we go, we have Miss Pod number two. But uh, we don't have to worry about those. So you're probably wondering why I'm not bothered about these mist monsters. Well, the fact is, I'm standing somewhere where they can't reach. You know, there's no ramp up to this area. And as long as you're out of sight, out of line of sight of the mist monsters and you don't shoot them, then they will not attack you. So you can just stand here chilling. You can hear them. You can see them on the mini map. Right next to me, virtually. But as I said, they can't get up here, so uh, no, 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 Miss Monster. Miss Monster, mini boss. <laughs> That's close. I don't know where the other one's gone. It's not headed over this way yet. Normally, all of them sort of come towards you. But we're quite safe where we're standing. 
if we was closer to the edge maybe they would uh, be able to get you but uh, because they can't see you they can't get you and like I said as long as you leave them alone don't try and shoot them then uh, you'll be fine I tried that one on one of these endurance um, I actually went over to the, uh, the mini boss and I started shooting him and he followed me back over here and he spawned right here where I was standing. There we go, we have uh, mini boss number two heading over. He'll be able to keep the other mini boss company. <laughs> Less than 20 seconds left. And then I'll show you the rewards that you get for running all 30 waves of Stonewood Endurance. Ooh, that one sounds like a smasher mini boss. there we have it wave 30 complete and they only took a little bit of damage on that uh, amplifier in fact that's the only damage I took on any of the amplifiers in the whole game I think it was actually um, lobbers that were doing damage Could uh, chuck in a, uh, a few anti-air traps over that way, and uh, that would prevent that problem. Although I have, haven't actually used any um, anti-air traps in this build. I don't know why it takes so long to leave a storm shield when a game's ended. This is something that Epic Games needs to fix. Now, I would highly recommend that you build out of metal and fully upgrade the metal to tier 3. Because metal is the, uh, the strongest material and of course if it's tier 3 it's going to last longer from uh, enemy attacks. I will show you one area as well that I didn't really have to build on because um, the enemy spawn points have been changed so many times in you know the life cycle of this game that uh, where enemies used to spawn they no longer spawn and they spawn in different areas and that's especially true in, in Twine Peaks because I built everything and then I found that there was one area that the um, the enemies came from and I didn't have hardly any traps in that area. But uh, I haven't got around to rebuilding Twine yet. It does take a lot of time and effort, you know, materials, traps. And I've built my Storm Shields Oh, I don't know how many times, at least four times for each. You know, and I make little tweaks here and there and uh, improve things. Right, so we're going to see what the rewards are any second now when the game's finished loading. So we got level 6 loot, 
We don't get any Battle Pass XP because I've already ran Endurance today already and I've done some other missions. So we get 103,325 Survivor XP, which is a fairly decent amount. Um, 755 gold. 420 Reperk. And 259 Rare Perk up. Although you do tend to get more when you do the um, other Endurances. And of course we get 100 Reperk for eliminating 100 Miss Monsters. Right, so what I will do is um, I will show you in part two of this video the traps you need, um, how I've built uh, my Stonewood Endurance and uh, give you a few uh, tips and tricks to help you guys to do it 100% AFK. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. And I'm back. Did you miss me? No, thought not. Right, we're going to go over the traps. So the first trap is the ceiling electric field and I've gone for durability, reload speed, durability, reload speed and that final sixth perk is also an important one. Heals attached building 4.8% of its max health every 10 seconds does not stack. And that means you basically don't have to rebuild while you're doing endurance because the the trap will actually heal your build second trap is the wall darts and again going for durability reload speed durability reload speed and again that healing sixth perk now it says a different durability um, there the actual in-game durability is higher for all my traps and I have done a video on how to increase your trap durability. Third trap is retractable floor spikes. And again, durability, reload speed, durability, reload speed, and that healing sixth perk again. Because if you've got double reload speed on it, your traps are firing, you know, more often. You know, the, the, the reload time is 3.3 seconds on that trap. So the more times that it's actually firing the more damage it's doing right the fourth one is the tar pit and I've gone for durability reload speed durability reload speed and again that healing sixth perk the fifth trap is the ceiling drop trap and again durability reload speed durability reload speed and that healing sixth perk again. And the final sixth trap is the broadside. And again, durability, reload speed, durability, reload speed, and again, that healing sixth perk. Now I do have a, uh, another second trap of each of these and that's a uh, crit damage one which I use in games. But I decided to supercharge the, uh, the traps to 144 that I used for doing endurance and war games. So we're gonna go into uh, my stonewood and I will show you how I have built things. The durability on my scenic electric field is 130. The durability on my wall darts is 162. The durability on my retractable floor spikes is 130. The durability on my tar pit is 87. The durability on my ceiling drop trap, aka tire trap, is 87. And the durability on my broadside is 130. And like I said, I have done a video on how you can 
increased strap durability there is three ways that you can do so and I am using two of them at the moment in order to get these high durability ratings on all of my traps so uh, by all means go and check that video out video out I'll tell you what I'll do I will um, leave a comment and I will pin or I will um, leave a link to that uh, trap durability video that I did I probably won't pin the comment I'll, I'll pin someone else's comments that's what I tend to normally to do when you're ready to start the fight select expand shield from I only pin my own comment uh, when it's something important to say or something that I may have missed in the video so most of the uh, the floor traps are tar pits and we have the ceiling electric field above and uh, we also have some wall darts so you can see their durability of 162 and the tar pit durability of 87 broadside durability 130 so as long as you've got one at least one durability on a trap it's going to heal the structure if it gets damaged which is really important if you're doing endurance And I have placed traps in odd locations and the reason for that is so that it uh, heals structures. So I've got wall darts and tar pits around that and we have retractable floor spikes up here and wall darts. Actually inside this, um, which I didn't actually show, um, we have uh, ceiling electric fields uh, underneath on the uh, inside of the trap all you need to do is uh, place traps where the enemy enemy spawn in the ceiling drop trap can be placed up to three tiles high and they're ideal for where there is a slope because the um, the tires themselves will actually drop down that slope taking out enemies so you get a little bit of extra use out of them if you know what I mean now this area right here is it's not needed anymore the enemies don't actually spawn in here so don't really need to build right here but then again epic could change it again in the future so that the enemies do spawn in here so now i've got these retractable floor spikes along this part because enemies will spawn in right there and they didn't used to a while back as far as I can remember. And with the ceiling electric field, you can place those traps up to two tiles high. And they'd still be effective. You see, I've got the uh, tire traps above that slope there. And the enemies will spawn in about here. see I have uh, quite a few traps which uh, it makes doing AFK endurance possible you know if I had them at uh, with a crit rate and crit damage um, I doubt I would be able to do a full endurance without having to replace you know some of the traps so that's why I've gone for durability, reload speed and that healing sixth perk. Now 
Now tar pits are the only trap that will stop a charging smasher. And that's why I've ten tended to use them. Um, they'll also slow normal enemies, meaning that the traps that are above them and to the sides of them are going to be doing damage. You could, you could also use the uh, floor freeze traps instead of tar pits, but um, I think the tar pits are a, uh, a better trap. There you go, we've got the C electric fields in here. You know the drill. We have disabled the storm shield, which means there is no barrier between you and the hordes outside. Let's start the clock and see how long you survive an escalating storm front. The field manual says the simulation ends when any amplifier or storm shield computer is destroyed. Prepare for an attack from the east. Right, I will show you where to go and stand for the duration of endurance. It's a brilliant little spot. Um, I did show it in part one of this video. We do have the old uh, Mantis Sleep, which is the uh, triple jump for the ninja. And I have also done a video on how to get that. So basically what you want to do is you just want to stand right here where I am now and then basically don't move for the <laughs> entire two and a half hours of endurance you don't have to do nothing your traps will do all the work and also um, the traps will heal any damaged structures so I hope you found this video helpful don't forget to smash that like button if you're new to my channel then why not subscribe Hit the bell notification symbol and you'll be notified when I publish new videos on YouTube. If you'd like to help out my channel, you can do so by sharing my videos on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Tell your gaming friends about my channel. Help my channel to grow. If you'd like to help out my channel a little bit financially, I do have a Patreon account that you can pledge from just $1 a month. And there's a link to my Patreon in the description of all of my YouTube videos. If you are under the age of 18, please ask your parents' permission before pledging. That's all I ask. Alternatively, feel free to use my support creator code, which is exactly the same as my YouTube game channel name, starfish underscore central. And again, a big thank you to those of you who have been kind enough to use my code. It is very much appreciated. And if you don't support my channel by using my creator code, make sure you do support a creator and use their code because they get a 5% revenue share every time you spend V-Bucks while using their code. And it does really help them out. Another way you can help out my channel is by watching my video adverts. You don't have to, I do make my video adverts skippable. It's just sometimes a short 10, 15 second video advert at the start of some videos that you might not be able to skip. But uh, please do bear in mind, if you don't watch the video adverts, I don't get paid. It's as simple as that. And I do not earn very much on YouTube each month. In fact, I don't earn enough to pay half of my internet costs. That is how little I earn, which is why I ask you guys to help support the channel a bit, you know, by using my creator code, by pledging on my Patreon. And uh, you can also use the uh, super thanks feature, which is basically like super chat, but for videos. And you can donate, you know, a dollar or two that way, if you wish. Every, you know, every every little helps. Many thanks for watching. I'm so see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.